This is the 20th video in Chapter 4 of Google SketchUp for Dummies, and it deals with using a tool called Intersect with Model to create complex roofs. Okay, what we have in front of us here is uh, what, something I would consider to be a pretty complex uh, sloped roof. It consists of a main roof piece here, so let me sort of highlight that. The kind of main roof piece right there that's kind of blue right now, um, it's a hip roof. And it's got a piece of it that comes off that looks like this. Okay, so here's a secondary hip that's coming off of that main hip. And then it's got three gables. One, two, and three, right there, that are coming off of these primary and secondary hips. And the way that we've created those gables and made them um, attached to the hip is that we just kind of took used push-pull and just pushed this profile right back into that gabled roof. But what that gave us in all three cases, one, two, and three, is a strange triangle shape thing that's coming into the hip of the roof or into the slope of the roof. And what it doesn't give us is it doesn't give us any edges here. No edges. If you notice, this kind of looks like a ghost slope because there's no edge to define where those two planes, this plane and that plane, are coming together. And that's where Intersect with Model is really going to come in handy. Okay, so this is how you use Intersect with Model. I'm going to use the Select tool, which I'm already in, to just select the entire roof. So I've already hidden the building part that was uh, that should be underneath here. I kind of took that, I made it, it was already a group before I started, and I hid it, so I'm not dealing with it. Now I'm going to use the Select tool to just select the whole roof. Once that whole thing's selected, I'm going to right-click on it and go to Intersect and choose Intersect with Model. And when I do that, I'm going to end up with edges. There's one there, here's one here, there and there. I'm going to end up with edges I didn't have before. So watch, I'm going to undo and watch those edges disappear. All right, so normally what I want is an edge there, and before I did the intersect with model, I didn't have an edge. So what I'm going to do is select the whole thing, right click, say intersect with model, and I end up with those edges that I wanted. And now that I've got those edges, what I have is a lot of garbage on the inside of the roof that I don't need anymore. So to get rid of that, I'm just going to go up and use the eraser, and just very carefully erase away the stuff that I don't need. There we go. So I erased that away. Oops, there's a little edge. Let's erase the way the stuff right here that I don't need. Don't need that. Probably don't need that. And let's just do the last one right here. We're going to erase this, and this, and this, and that. Orbiting around a little bit kind of tells me that I did the right thing. And what I've got now is a roof with hips and gables that all runs into itself. I've got no extra geometry to bog me down. And um, that's basically it. So. That concludes the 20th video in Chapter 4 of Google SketchUp for Dummies about using Intersect with Model to make roofs.